Welcome to the farm, the place where me and my milk cow Bree started our homesteading journey. Today I'm taking you to the stanchion where I meet my old ball and chain twice a day for some old fashioned teat pulling. First I start by bringing my milk cow into the stanchion and treating her with some grain. Now each cow has their own personality and way that they want to go about this so it became an experiment with me to try to figure out what each milk cow is going to get for the best results to make her stand and to get my job done and her happy. Keeping a clean cow is an essential when having your own family dairy or family milk cow. I start by brushing off any hay or loose debris that is hanging around on her udder, tail, and underbelly. Next, I am going to be taking some hot vinegar water and really washing down those teats and udder. This is going to help relax the cow and clean her and let that milk really come in. Creating a nice calm environment is key. Next, I'll be following up with an iodine dip for sanitation purposes. After applying to each teat, remove iodine with a nice clean cloth. Next, I will apply coconut oil to the outer surface of the teeth. This will serve as a lotion and a lubricant to prevent any cracking that may happen on the surface of her teeth. Strip or squeeze five squeezes out of each teeth into a cup or onto the ground, not into your milk bucket. These first few squirts will have the highest amount of bacteria in them, so we don't want this getting into our good milk and spoiling it. This is also a good chance to check for any signs of clumps, clear milk, or blood, which is signs of a mastitis infection. I'm slipping rubber gloves on. If the cow needs more feed during my milking process or I need to pick something up or move something, I can simply take the gloves off to complete the task, slip the gloves back on, and return to my clean slate. Properly hold the teat by wrapping your thumb and your forefinger around the base of the teat. This will trap the milk in the teeth. Then start squeezing with the thumb and the index finger and work your way all the way down until you reach your pinky. As you start becoming more fluent with your milking and the milking process, this will all become much quicker and much easier. So when am I done milking? Cows have four quarters and each quarter has a teeth. The milk stream will start to become very thin and weak as you become familiar with milking, you will know when she's empty by the way her teats look and feel. After milking, disinfect and close the teat canal with bite back and iodine dip to remove any milk residue in the teat canal that could fester bacteria to grow and lead to infection. On to phase two, straining and storing our milk. Start by applying a filter inside of your strainer. Place the strainer over a glass jar or whatever type of container you are going to be storing your milk in. The milk is going to flow easily through the strainer, removing any debris or floaties that may have fallen into the bucket while you are milking. For maximum freshness, place an airtight lid on your container. The less contact that your milk has with air, the fresher it will stay. We want our milk to chill as fast as possible. I place mine in the freezer for a few hours and then remove and place in the refrigerator for storage. I start by washing my stainless steel milking bucket and strainer with cold water first to get all the milk residue off of there. I follow it with hot soapy water and then bleach to sanitize. Place milking equipment upside down on a clean dish towel to air dry. We hope you found this video educational and enjoyable. Visit BrieBlondieHomestead.com for the complete list of my step-by-step -step process on how to milk family cow and other tips and tricks along the way.